Thank you for waking up with us here on sunrise this morning to get your week started. Tropics staying busy for several disturbances that we're still watching. Thankfully, Kirk is a strong storm moving towards Europe this morning. No impacts towards the United States. We're still watching Leslie deep in the Atlantic Ocean. Good news, though, is that Leslie weakened over the weekend and will continue to do so as we head through the rest of this week and into the upcoming weekend. Leslie eventually expected to drop to a tropical storm by your two Tuesday and Wednesday and then become extra tropical this weekend, which pretty much means that it'll begin to lose its tropical characteristics and from there become a system that we no longer have to worry about. Now behind Leslie, there's going to be another area of showers and thunderstorms that'll move off of the African coastline near the Cape Verde Islands that we'll have to watch within this shaded area of yellow, but this isn't expected to begin to try and develop until the end of this week. So for now, just something that we watch and wait. Of course, we'll see how things continue to develop and we'll be the first to alert you of any updates with these systems deep in the Atlantic. Now closer to home, Milton really gaining strength in the Gulf of Mexico overnight. You can tell that it has because it's been able to carve out an eye around its center of circulation. Now as Milton slowly drifts off to the east southeast throughout the day today. It's going to continue to strengthen already. The latest advisory this morning. Milton is a category two hurricane with sustained winds of 100 miles per hour. Notice how as we work throughout this week and it moves off to the east, it strengthens rapidly to major hurricane status with winds of at least 140 miles per hour by Wednesday. Still set to make landfall in Florida as soon as Wednesday night and into Thursday morning. And then once it does, check it out. It stays off to the east southeast even into Friday as well as the upcoming weekend. And the reason why is that it's being steered away offshore from this cold front that's moving into the Carolinas as we speak. Here it is on first alert satellite and radar draped from the southeast through portions of the Tennessee River Valleys. And as this moves farther into the Carolinas, not only does it keep this moisture as well as Milton at bay, but it's also the source of our fantastic weather later this week and into your upcoming weekend.